and I was in Ibadan for a whole year. And during that time, I met this woman who eventually became my muse. And she was sort of just gliding through the middle of the highway and just walking regally. And she was wearing this patterned fabric. It was a blue fabric with diamond patterns. And I said to myself, this is extraordinary. I, I, I really didn't understand like how she was so confidently moving in the, middle of the, in the middle of the road with cars passing unfazed. It didn't take me long from there to realize that she was mentally ill. And it was sort of in her that all my ideas about painting emotional distress and, and sort of figuring out how to translate emotions into painting. Hmm, it's a very good question. I think the major thing for me is I'm interested in the process of breaking down the stigma that surrounds mental illness. And we see mentally ill people on the road and we call them derogatory terms that I won't you know, repeat now. And it's, it's, it's an illness and it can be cured. And I think um, I want to help raise awareness for mental illness and you know, if there is a way in my own small way that we can start getting people maybe off the streets or even providing relief to people in mentally, in psychiatric wards, you know, so that they can experience art and start their journey towards recovery. That would be everything to me, really. There's a sense of having to find your voice in the process. And I wanted to know what those moments were like. I needed to find a new language to express what I was experiencing in Nigeria. And so I needed to evolve. And so I opened myself up to that evolution. It, lots of paintings failed. <laughs> so I'm just showing you the ones that I think succeeded. But um, yes, yeah, so, so that's, it was a difficult time and um, it was a difficult transition, but I've reached some sort of soft landing. So we'll see how it goes. Well, I think there have been a couple of moments along, along, the, uh, along my journey. The first validation I got was I got to meet the Queen of England when I was young and um, she presented me with an art award and encouraged me to go on with art. So that was, that was sort of the beginning of my journey early on. Um, another aha moment was getting into this lade. I'd always wanted to go there so, because I heard Ben and Woman went. So, so when I got into this lade, that was another aha moment. And then just every, almost every single moment in this blade was an aha moment in terms of like the, the tutors, Lisa Milroy, Susan Collins, who's even in Nigeria now, um, and the various ways they encouraged me. Then my major aha moment was moving back to Nigeria and um, integrating with the society and basically finding my voice. I feel like I found my voice when I moved back to Nigeria. Okay, moving back to Nigeria, there was a, a, an interesting thing happened. Of course, as a, as a young woman, um, I, I got a couple of marriage proposals. So there's nothing wrong with marriage proposals, but um, there was this particular guy that came up to me and was like, ah, fine girl, come and marry me. And I, I, I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm actually okay, thanks so much. And he was like, ah, better, better marry me before you expire. So I was thinking, like, about expiration. <laughs> and fertility and you know what that means and for a woman you're sort of on a clock so i started secretly well not secretly painting berries and grapes into the wounds of of the bodies it's see i see it like see like getting married <laughs> you can marry so many different people like you, you, there's no specific person that you're meant to be you're meant to be with. I, I feel like you know you could meet someone and have a version of your life play out or another person and then have a very different version of your life play out and I feel like that's sort of the same way with art. When you approach, when art meets the artist, a version of that collaboration plays out. So when you have, for example, me making work, it's a different story from somebody else making work.